Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Blubberbutter, and welcome back to Titan Souls. Once again, haven't taken a break, I probably should have, my voice is starting to get dry, so I might take a break after this. Now there was something over... Oh, I think this is the typical entrance, and that's not what I was trying to do. Oh yeah, it was. This thing. This thing right here. Didn't we pop up here for a little bit before and then decide to leave? Yeah, there's an elevator. So I don't know where the elevator leads, but probably close to whatever our next biome is. What have we done now? We've done... We've done the forest one. We have whatever the, like, the rock ruins ones were. And I think there are, what, two more? Maybe three more. I don't remember. Anyway, we'll see what this one is. Oh, snow. Cool. Oh, what? I didn't know you could break through those things. I thought they were actual barriers. Well, that's good to know. You see some weird symbols on the ground here. Definitely ice. This place is weird. It's like... I don't know how to describe it. Um, not Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, well, maybe. But like Bionicle or something where the setting is a, an island that happens to have like all the different biomes. So you have like snow in one half of the islands and like desert in one and stuff like that. Which, I, by the way, that's not a criticism. I like that. That's kind of cool. But I don't know if, again, that's just because they were having a setting and thought that'd be cool or if that's actually important to the plot. Or if they even cared about the plot at all. It's possible they just added some things to kind of mess with you and figured you'd interpret your own plot. Which is valid, although it'd be a little disappointing. So, it looks like for this video we're going to try to do the snow biome. And if I remember correctly, once again, there are going to be three... Yep. Three, three titans here. So, one up. Which is the easiest one, because it's literally right here. What are these unlit torches? Is that important? Oh, this guy. Oh, no. Okay, funny story about this guy, and I'll tell you while doing it so you can see what I mean. He is a pain. Oh, I forgot. Okay. So that's how it works. There are... It comes up, and it shoots in the direction. And that ice does block your arrows, by the way. And he breathes out to keep you away from him. Oh, no. I just... Oh, good. I made past. Anyway, what you're supposed to do... I guess, is to go break his teeth to create a weak point. I thought you had to break all his teeth. So that's what I had been doing. The timing's a little... So I think it's best to break at least two. I'm gonna try to break all of them. Well, this is a three... three monster dungeon. Though. Maybe I should. Uh, I mean, I'm getting close though. Haha, <laughs> only one more tooth. Ah, I was close. Not so close that time. So I guess you can, like, make the timing work a little better by being further away from that thing. Because the further away he is, the longer he waits. Where's he coming from? Oh, he killed me. Well... I guess that's what happens when I try to be greedy. I shouldn't have tried to break all the teeth. I was wondering if there was like an achievement for breaking all the teeth. I don't know if there is. I kind of want to though. If, uh, okay, I'll, I'll probably cut cut out the part where I'm trying them because this is such a large dungeon anyway. Oh, what? Oh, what? I keep getting ridiculously close, but just not quite there. Really? There we go. Got all of his teeth. And just shoot him in the mouth. There we go. Yeah, dental plan. I did get an achievement for it. Okay. So I'm not sure what I showed you. Probably a montage of me getting super close because the game was being really quite spiteful. Yeah, that was eight souls, so I guess eight is probably just the standard amount you get. But, you know. You know, I've recorded long enough to have one video, and all I've done is one boss. I'm not sure how this is going to be edited, so... Either it's going to be a really long video, or... Like, I cut out that one boss fight, or I just chopped up the pieces of that boss fight so that it wasn't so long. 
What you have to do here, in case you haven't noticed, is I'm lighting torches. And if I remember correctly, I have to melt that, that, uh, ice thing down there. Did it? Oh, come on. Um. There it goes. I heard the lighting sound. And now... There we go. Also, look, if you roll on the ice, you go stupid fast. It's awesome. Oh, water. What? Oh, no! Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, I have a huge phobia of water creatures. Like, it's funny, because I'm a scuba diver. But I hate sharks. I, I hate anything in the water that could hurt me. So that's actually, even in a pixelated game, terrifying me right now. The boss itself, I don't think is hard. Again, it comes down to timing. Unfortunately, a form of timing I'm not good at. Alright, so wait for him to swoop down. There he goes. Oh, missed. Anyway. Wait for him. There we go. Well, that was unusually amazing planning on his part. There was I don't think there was anything I could do to dodge that, unfortunately. So, that's unfortunate, but it's how it works sometimes. He's too sporadic, honestly. He doesn't have the same kind of pattern thing. His attacks are random. Sometimes he'll like unapologetically land exactly where you are without any chance, and sometimes, you know, he'll leave himself wide open, so you just never know. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull that out. Anyway, he's not my favorite. It's not a lazy boss. It's just his attacks, even for this game, are just very, very random. He doesn't give as much of a tail, or a tell, as others do. You can't plan accordingly. Sometimes you can swim away from him in the water, and sometimes he'll come up exactly where you're going. So, I'm not overly fond of that one. I still think it's good. But, I don't, for lack of a better word, I don't think it's as fair as some of the other boss fights were. But, you know, it's whatever. You have one more over here, I think? No, this is the exit. I think. I don't know. Pretty sure it's up this way. Yeah, that one. I don't even remember what he was, though. Oh no, not this guy. I hate him. All right, he's not actually that hard once you understand his pattern. Um, I will say he'll attack two times, uh, three times, and then leave himself open. From the first two times he attacks, it looks like he's open for a little bit. As if if you timed it just right, you could still hit him. Uh, and you probably could, but I was not able to do it. And uh, I realized what I was doing by the same tip I've been recommending this entire playthrough long. Just be patient. Wait and see his openings. Usually, even if there is a a weak point or one opening that you can actually get through, there's usually a better one. So, stand far enough back. Still shoot those things like a jerk. He'll attack three times. And you shoot him in the butt. Literally. You literally shoot him in the butt. His face. Oh, right. I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. Anyway, he's not that hard. He, he is hard when you're trying to figure out what to do because all of his attacks are super fast and super vicious. But if you play patiently, you just wait and defend while watching his patterns, you'll see it's really, really quite easy. You simply, on the third strike, get close to a wall, roll out of the way, and be ready to shoot him as soon as he's facing another direction. And when you realize that, he's really not that hard. Well then. Um, actually, before I go, I think there's one more thing to explore here, and then I'll end the video. And I don't know yet if this is one or two videos. I didn't know you could break the snow, so I've never done this. I don't know what's up here. I hope it's more, like, plot stuff, like a painting or something. Oh, wait, what? Is this where I came from? No, it's not. Is there another elevator, or is this a boss? That's an elevator, because the boss has that little soundy thing. Oh, no, it's not. It's a painting. Cool. 
Oh, that, that's not helpful at all, though. What? There's a person. And he's lighting everything up, but what is that? What is that even? Is that a mount? That's a mountain. Is that this mountain? It's the eye again. It has those little symbols that uh, have in the past used to mean uh, the... S s the can I move my mouse on it? It doesn't look like I can. Um, on the top left and top right of this thing, the little squares, those things uh, are titan souls, I think. So there are 11 titans. How many have I killed so far? I think I still have one more biome at least. Maybe another. So that's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video here. And I have no clue how I'm going to edit this. If this is going to be two videos, one long one, or just a really chopped up collage version. Because this went significantly longer than I had been planning for the others. Oh no. Oh good. So, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, a like or subscribe would be amazing. But with that, I'm going to stop. You all have a great day. And I, Mr. Blubberbutter, see you later. Bye.